So at Northside, I serve as the clinical lead for our comprehensive concussion program. It's umbrellaed underneath our sports medicine network. And the goal is really to have a comprehensive program that can both identify what specific difficulties a patient has, create a very targeted treatment plan to address those difficulties, and then has a team around the patient that can serve and rehabilitate whatever those needs are. A concussion is at its most basic an energy crisis that happens in the brain. So the brain's surrounded by fluid within the skull and usually that serves well to kind of absorb shock and pressure to the brain. However, in the case of an injury, the brain just shakes within the skull a little more than would typically happen. And that shaking action actually allows the cells that make up the brain, the neurons, to kind of stretch out a little bit. At the same time, concussions associated with decreased blood flow to the brain, which is the brain's energy source. It's where they receive the energy that it uses. So we have this state where the cells aren't working that well. They want to fix that problem that it's caused, which demands more energy at a time that there's actually less energy available to the brain. It just creates this energy crisis that can be associated with a variety of different problems. A common myth is that there has to be direct forces on the brain. Someone has to be hit in the head to sustain a concussion. And that's actually not the case. Oftentimes, people will be struck to other parts of their body. All that needs to happen is those forces need to be transmitted up to the head. That could be a whiplash type injury or something of that nature. And that results in that shaking action of the brain within the skull. As the science has continued to evolve, we've learned that all concussions are, are certainly not the same. In fact, there's different types of concussions or different concussion profiles that people experience. And there's also risk factors that set people up to experience certain types of difficulties following the injury. So we can utilize that information in addition to what we see when they present to us in the clinic to identify very specific and targeted treatment plans. And that treatment plan is going to differ depending on what type of concussion a person has. If you think or you think someone that you know has sustained a concussion, get it treated, get it evaluated. Um, coming into to a program like ours, a comprehensive program that can evaluate things in detail using the most up-to-date assessment strategies and then target that evaluation with treatments that can address the issues that the person's experiencing, that's, that's the number one recommendation I would make for someone, even if you just suspect a concussion may have occurred. I think what sets our concussion program apart is that we use the most up-to-date science. We're really looking at this on an individualized basis. So each individual that comes in is going to have a thorough evaluation conducted. And then what also makes our program particularly unique is it's a comprehensive team. So it's not just about figuring out what difficulties there are. It's also about treating those difficulties. And we have the resources in place to do that. So we have a team and a program that can not only identify using very up-to-date science, what are the difficulties, but then we can see you through the entire process, rehabilitate those difficulties, and get you cleared in a way that's safe.